Hey YouTube, today I want to review an app for you guys that's called Brickies. Now before I get into kind of what's cool about this app and the history of it, let's get through serious stuff. So Brickies is made by Noodle Cake Studios Inc. and if you guys haven't seen, I've reviewed an app from these guys before, I'll put a link to it over here so you guys can go check that one out because that game is also a lot of fun, definitely check that one out too. It's one of my earlier videos so hey. Fast, colorful, simple, and addictive. Break the Brickies and bounce your way to victory. Brickies is a fresh take on the classic breakout game with fast-paced levels that will leave you thirsty for more action. Use the paddles to launch the ball and unleash a variety of power-ups upon the Brickies. But don't worry if you miss the ball. In Brickies, missing a shot doesn't mean game over. It deactivates the ball until you bounce it again, and then you're back in action. Explode, shoot, and cut your way through over 100 levels featuring action, puzzles, and tricky bosses. Unlock new and exciting powers as you progress through the levels. Beat the timer and collect three stars. Earn achievements and compete for the highest score with your friends. So even in the description, Brickies makes a callback to the original game Breakout. So if you guys don't know what that is, I actually had to go and look this up because I was curious. Brickies is based on the old Atari game Breakout. So that m name might not sound too familiar to you, or it might. But this is a game that was heavily inspired by Pong, and it's made on the same system. It was actually made by Steve Jobs, which is kind of ironic because on one of the later iPod Nanos, it had a version of this game in one of the games before apps was a thing. Breakout was a game created by Atari in 1972, which followed along the same line as Pong did. It starts with a little ball and a paddle, but instead of having somebody else on the other side, it's a line of rainbow-colored bricks that each time your ball hits it, it will break it and then bounce back to your paddle, so it's a continuous game of breaking and coming back. Really simple premise, but a lot of fun. It's been ported to a lot of things, it's been created thousands of times, and I honestly didn't know that it had this kind of history along with it, so I thought it'd be interesting to share that and show kind of where Bricky's history came from. They even make a reference to it in their description, which I think is really cool, because they had this idea, they gave credit to it, and continued and added their own version. So with Brickies, one of the main differences in, in it aesthetically is that you have two sets of paddles on each side, which makes it really nice because it can bounce off of the walls, bounce off at the top, and come back and hit it from the top. So there's multiple angles that you can destroy the Brickies with. Also, instead of just having plain bricks without anything, they have faces which genuinely kind of make me feel a little guilty because when you break their friends, they look sad. <laughs> so that breaks my heart. So Brickies makes a lot of references like to its old predecessor and to other really popular games. Now if you're young, you might not remember this one so much, but in the game over of Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda game, once you get a game over in Brickies, it gives you the same message. It has a bunch of the cute little Brickies smiling and saying, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Which, in that context, it sounds like the Brickies came and killed you, which makes it a little more sinister, but still, I love the reference, it's really cool. It, the first time I saw it, I think I actually audibly gasped because of that reference, it made me so happy. So when you're playing this out, there are two different modes. There's regular mode, which when you open it, it just says play, or there's endless mode, which will give you random sets of Brickies that you'll have to beat within the time limit. The nice part about that is, is you continue to add to your time limit within the endless mode because every time you hit a brickie it gives you more time. So as long as you're continuously hitting brickies every time you can go forever. And I literally mean forever. I think I paid like, played like a 20 minute game of endless at one time and it was crazy because I didn't want it to end because I didn't want to lose the high score but I wanted it to end because it lasted so long. It was crazy. <laughs> Currently, in the regular play mode, there are five level packs. Each level pack has 20 levels in it, and a total of 60 stars that you can unlock. From what I can see, the stars eventually unlock one of the final levels. So you definitely want to try to get through these levels as fast as you can and get as many stars as you possibly can so you can continue playing the game. Now, as far as gameplay goes, it's really simple. Everybody's played this game at one point or another. Like, whether you realize it or not, because it's been so ingrained into our society. The original wasn't as big as Pac-Man or Pong or any of those kind of things, but it still exists and it's still really prevalent. As far as that, it's really easy to figure out. You use your finger on the 
phone screen to slide it back and forth, move in sync with each other so you don't have to worry about moving one than the other and vice versa. As far as power-ups go, they add a really fun aspect to this game. It gives you a lot of different power-ups like a saw which will just rip straight through instead of bouncing off. It'll give you a laser which gives you extra hits to brickies you might not even be near and you have a finger drag one which you can control where the ball goes which is amazing if you have like one left and you're having a hard time getting to it you can just drag it over and voila you're done there's also a cool thing like usually in some games when you get one power up it'll cancel out the other one not with this one it actually combines them so you could have a saw blade with the finger control and just absolutely wreck the stage that i definitely love it definitely comes in a lot of handy the power-ups are never a hindrance as far as I've ever run into. They've always been a really good help and so I love them for that reason. So music overall is amazing. It's one of those games where sound effects of what's going on within the game and the music line up perfectly and have no clashing. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when the music's really good but the sound effects within the game totally just don't mesh together and overwhelm one or the other. There's only maybe a couple times where this might possibly happen but it never really does. It always really flows really well. Sometimes if you get caught in a corner and it's destroying like 50 brickies at a time, it gets a little ugh. But otherwise, it flows really good. The music has a really good beat. It's really fun to listen to. There's really not much else to talk about this one. It's, this app is filled with references from the past and like beloved stuff, whether you know it or not. So definitely check this one out. I love it. It's so much fun. It, it has a lot of callback memories to other games I've played on older things such as that iPod that's hiding back there that's really old, like early 2000s old, that still has this kind of game on it. So definitely check this one out, it has a wild nostalgia boost for me and I adore it so hit like and comment down below, hit subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys later, bye!